There's a lack of activities because the community's dead and there's nothing here. You might have a family dollar store here and a family dollar store there. That's about it. Other than that, there's nothing for us. And we're given a, a list of rules. Don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. Well, what can I do? Um, I see there being more activities for the younger kids, but I see a lack of activities for the older kids, which I do feel um, plays a big part in the reason why there's crime, not in just this area, but in other areas as well. So we're given a list of things that we can't do, but we're not given a list of things that we can do. And then we have this list of things we can't do, but we did all, but we have nothing to do. I've just seen more of a decline in business, even more businesses have closed up. It just seems like there's less and less to do, which leaves a lot of time for kids to make up their own stuff. And that a lot of time leads to trouble. Being in the streets. They hang out with doing the streets. And then you meet the wrong people, make friends with the wrong people, and you're in the wrong place. For real. Yeah, because you don't really got nothing to do. And streets is the only answer. Society plays a big part in it, and it gives us, it affects me because I feel as though everybody should have the same chance at life to be exposed to everything that they want to be exposed to. I grew up here in Clarendon. We always had activities to do after school and on the weekends. We were always busy. There was different organizations like Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts. So there was a lot to do then. I don't know if it's because the city has fallen on hard times, they don't have the money to provide recreation, so that may be one of the things that's causing kids to get in trouble during the summer because there's lack of activities for them to do. Yeah, there's also a, a lot of lack of activities. If there was no school here in Clarendon, there would be no activities at all. Try to surround them with all types of activities that are not in the city because we want to keep them busy. We feel like if a child is busy, keeps them out of trouble, of course. When there's not a lot of money coming through the community, there's not a lot of money to be spent on things like activities, um, after school programs, rec centers, and stuff like that. And I hate to go back to sports, but that's the good part mm -hmm. in the community. That seems like the only thing that we have to fall back on. What we're known for is football, and we love the football team. That's amazing. But everybody's not a football player. So what happens when you don't play football? I think if you don't cater to other things besides sport, you leave a big chunk of kids out, and that's important. But no, not every kid's going to become a criminal. Most kids aren't. The bad that stands out is once school is out, there's nothing for our students to do. But it's good to give them something to do, because if they don't have anything to do, then they're just, you know, they feel useless sometimes and feel bad about themselves, and they need something to do. Positive. What I would like to see happen in Clarendon is jobs being created. Um, because without jobs being created, there's no money here at all anyway. And we can't work here because there's no jobs. But I can see, you know, um, industries. You know, I can see um, clothing stores. Because we used to have a clothing store. We had a record store. We had a clothing store. We had a five and dime. I do know that um, Clariton is one of the neighborhoods that is untapped. So it's a neighborhood where a lot of youth are going without the opportunity um, to get jobs until they're older. Transportation. Transportation is a big obstacle getting jobs here in Clariton. How many buses do you, can you guys take to get downtown? Um, how many of you guys know how to get downtown on a bus? I think that the biggest barrier is, again, the experience. So when you get a job when you're younger, that makes you more responsible. You understand um, what employers are looking for, and that makes you more prepared. And that gives you independence, um, which is a skill that you're going to need when you're working as well. Basically, we target youth from 12 to 18 years old. Um, we have mentoring programs. We have an academic enrichment program. We do a lot of homework help. A lot, unfortunately, a lot of kids don't bring in their homework, but do, we do a lot of homework help. We have, we have field trips. Um, we have all types of basketball tournaments. We have volleyball. We have soccer. Uh, we have dance teams. Uh, we have a lot of things that um, the kids could be participating in. 
but everybody doesn't live in that area. I'm not saying that you have to live in that area, but for example, if you have young kids living down here, do you want your kids walking all the way up there and back home? I think it's unsafe. And I've heard the kids say, well, my parent doesn't allow me there, but it's a safe place. We have competent staff. I don't think people really realize how much potential there is here so they don't bring things to the city and henceforth there is not um, as much going on here. There's a lot of things that I would like to see for the youth. We've actually been advocating for a, a gym, for a center. So I know that would be key for a lot of um, serving sort of the lack, a lot of activities that the kids just don't, they just can't do anything. I would like to see something like that in the community. Other communities have it. I want the kids in Clareton to experience everything that all the other kids in all other public schools experience. We should know that there's a great big world outside of Clareton, not just what is inside of Clareton. We have to bring recreation back to the city. We have to. And it can't be just all about football and basketball because everybody is not sports minded. Mm -hmm. Loving and just being together. I think. That, to me, looks at how I look at success for this community. You have to bring the parents on board. If you don't get the parents to back you in what you're trying to do, it's almost like a lost cause. Because parents have, are so busy, and just because with the economy, parents can't parent anymore because they're so busy working. But having somebody that really, really is accountable, you know, my child needs somebody to look over them. You know, they, they're latchkey. I'm working. Can you? Can you help me with my child? So I think as a community, we need to come together, be it uh, private sector or um, city council. We can find something for these kids to do during the summertime. I think if, 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 this, if the uh, students respectfully give their opinion and, and, the, um, and the adults respectfully listen and we come together, we can get, it, we can get results. But I can see things in people that possibly they couldn't see in themselves or possibly just that it hasn't happened. Even though we may not have the opportunities here in Clareton, success looks like Gabby to me, looks like Jaquela. But you make yourself successful in spite of. Because sometimes if you look at your circumstances and you say, oh, I can never be this because I don't have this, you can't. You can't just look at those, those, that particular circumstance. You have to speak those things that are not as though they were.